Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche Enabia, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Portland Trailblazers. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. this game to be kind of a grind, aren't we? Yeah, anytime you have two great defenses, each possession is going to be critical compared to that wide open style where each team's going to get up a ton of shots. Now, here is Miller coming off a solid outing against Philadelphia. Outside Roy, five on the clock. And that one drops. This guy is a threat from all three levels. That time, Roy put the mid-range. Gasol a screen. Bob pass to Gasol. Matthews with the steal. Down low, here's Aldridge. And the dunk by Aldridge. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. That one misses. So much to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. Here's Miller after Powell Gasol's bucket, and there's the pass to Aldridge. Good, and Miller gets the assist. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Roy against Bryant. Into the lane. Good D by Miller. Boy, oh, blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. Looking at the Trailblazers, they took the last win in their last game against the 76ers. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Miller. And he drops it in from the low post. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Gasol is screen. Kobe with it. Gamby picks him up. And Bryant slams it in. You know, when it's Kobe running that pick and roll, I think you've got to blitz him. Get the ball out of his hands. Otherwise, you're in trouble. And it's Miller penetrating. Kim. No good that time. Gasol with the defensive effort. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now, here's Roy. He had 35 points last game out. Miller finds Matthews. Outside Roy. Shoots over Odom. Roy misses. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Gasol, a screen on Aldridge. Goes up on the wing. Bryant can't get it to go. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Aldridge with a screen on Odin. Roy against Gasol. Pass to Matthews. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. Cam. Some solid defense from Kobe. 
and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Here he goes. He feeds it to Gasol. Kobe passes to Gasol. Back to Kobe. Good looking screen by Gasol. Here's Kobe. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Kobe's got five now. Well, you see the number of moves Kobe has more than capable of creating for himself with that handle. So timeout call here. The first for Portland. A different look now for Portland. Ante Cunningham's checked in for Aldridge. Batum comes in for Wesley Matthews. As Mills in for Miller. Now here's Roy. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Trying to get something going. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. They traveled to Portland last time they faced the Trailblazers and came away with the win. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But in that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. You know, whether it was their smart play or a few whistles that perhaps could have gone either way, when, when games are tight, every decision becomes more magnified. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Boy, good force on that drive from Bryant that time. Even the foul didn't keep him from taking the shot. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Greg Oden, he's checked in for Canton. Aldridge comes in for Cunningham. And Rudy Fernandez is subbed in for Roy. And there's Lamar Odom on the assist from Derek Fisher. He has six. Oh, great ball movement there. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now here's Mills. He has yet to score. Another shot, and Aldridge with the layup. Boy, that's exactly the kind of activity on the offensive glass that makes Aldridge special. And Odin sends it back. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers lead by five. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back to Noche Latina, celebrating the Latin culture and their love for the game of basketball. It just keeps growing. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? In that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Here's Odin after the basket by the Lakers. Here is Fernandez. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. And here is Aldrich following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. Odin, a screen on Odin. On Spaz Aldridge, Odin, and Gasol sends it back. And, and really, Gasol does an incredible job getting his hands up in the air, which results in a ton of rejection. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Batum after Powell Gasol's bucket. Shoots over Odom. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Batum. Up top, Kobe. Guided by Odin. And Bryant throws it down. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive player. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Welcome to the ball. 
some changes here for the Lakers. Walton comes in for Gasol, and it's Brown in for Kobe. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Matthews comes in for Rudy Fernandez, and Miller's subbed in for Patty Mills. Now, here is Miller. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Clark, there's a college prospect shooting up the draft boards. His name is Kenneth Fareed, a monster on the glass from a smaller program. Kevin averaging over 13 boards a game in the last couple of years. Um, Fareed's a bit undersized at 6'8", but he is a four-year player. I think he'll make an immediate impact on an NBA roster because we know Rebounding from college to the pros always translates. And it's tough to match up against Odin inside. Defense did their best, but ended up getting the whistle. Marcus Camby, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Lakers leading by 10. Round with it, and it's Miller picking him up. And stolen by Miller. Over Fisher. Second chance shot. Can be no luck. For Los Angeles, they've gone a sensational 5 of 5 from the field since the start of the second quarter. So the Lakers timeout, call timeout. timeout. They're first. They're coming off that win against Sorry. Minnesota. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get timeout, from their timeout. starters, they got from the reserves. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time. Bench players that contributed timeout, last timeout. game, their bench came a lot. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Boy comes in for Greg Oden. Okay, Lickers man, you have four. And Los Angeles with some changes. Paul Gasol, he's checked in for Odom. And Kobe is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Walton is screen on Roy. Outside our test. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. We get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. Look at the Lakers. They've had a great season. They'll look to extend that into the playoffs. And, of course, there's the Trailblazers right behind them, just one spot down. And when I look at the Lakers, it looks at this point like they will not enjoy home court advantage in the postseason. That was a spot that a lot of people had them penciled into at one point. Well, regardless of whatever spot they have, I look for them to be as dangerous as ever in the postseason. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Miller, the pass to Batum. To the inside, here's Camby. And slam dunk by Camby. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. Gasol, no good. Trailblazers trail by 10. Can be a screen on Brown. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Brandon Roy with the slam. Man, Roy can fly. Bryant inside, and Kobe throws it down hard. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Andre Miller, one of the best dime droppers around. Gasol, a screen on Roy. Kobe, the pass to Gasol. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. And that is his first foul of the game. Odom, he's jacked in for the Lakers. Fisher comes in for Shannon Brown. And Portland with the change here, too. Aldridge is checked in. Bryant drives in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. Well, you can be overly physical with Gasol if you want to. It's not going to bother him because he's excellent at drawing foul. And so he makes both from the line. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Miller kicks to Matthews. Back to Miller. Elbow shot. A 
again the Trailblazers score. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Gasol, a screen on Roy. Bryant dishes to Artest. Boom, he jams it straight down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And so it's Los Angeles with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, he's been everywhere. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Bryant attacking. This one for three. And Artest with the basket on the assist by Bryant. Artest's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Lakers. Pass to Campbell. Now here's Roy. Here's the three. Gasol pulls it in. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. When he gets going downhill, any kind of momentum towards the hoop, it's really hard to slow him down. Here is Miller following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Aldridge finds Miller. Play with it. Aldridge taking his time here. Four on the shot clock. Outside for Roy. No good with the triple. Lakers leading by 15. Here's our test. That shot missing. Miller outside. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Covered by our test. Back to Miller. Outside Aldridge. Jacks up a three. Nailed from three-point land. Miller's got seven points in the game. Miller is effective from three when he takes them, and he does a good job picking his spots. Here's Kobe. Rebound, Camby. Trailblazers trail by 12. Now, Miller, seven points in the game. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. and slam dunk by Camby. Boy, the timing and the pass itself. Miller spot on with that feed. Kobe, the pass to Odom. They get it again. Bryant. Roy with some nice D. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And Brandon Roy with the slam. Really a gifted passer, Andre Miller. Excellent dime drop. Odom with the screen for Kobe. Oh, Odom in position. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Now a timeout called by Portland. Some changes for the Lakers. Walton comes in for Gasol, and it's Brown in for Bryant. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Aldridge. Now here is Miller, inside, here's Matthews, here's Camby, and slam dunk by Camby. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Here's Brown, scoreless thus far. It's tipped, stolen by Artest. There's the triple. 
And it's Brown missing. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Trailblazers. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. It's Matthews on the wing. Here's Camby. Oh, oh whoa, man. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves timeout, timeout. a ball game. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Portland making a change here. Odin's checked in. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Some changes for the Lakers. Gasol's checked in for Oda. And Kobe is subbed in for Derek Fisher. 116 left in the third quarter of the game. Kobe, the pass to Gasol. And finished off by Gasol. And it's really smart to get Gasol moving in these pick and roll plays. He's not only an amazing passer, but a terrific scorer as well. Now here's Odin looking at his point production. He averages almost 11 points a game. Out to Miller. Down to five on the shot clock. Odin with a screen for Miller. At the tip, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Gasol. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Bryant's got nine assists in the game. Great passer. Outside Roy. Outside Batum. Miller against Brown. Passes it to Matthews. Launches a three. Hands it from downtown. Matthews has got five. And Matthews crosses up the defense with his catch and shoot Jay. You can't afford to lay off of him. Here's Kobe. And Bryant slams it in. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. You keep attacking that rim. And here's Miller outside. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Back to the action in just a minute. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Here's Mills. Now the pass to Fernandez. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Fernandez has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Outside for our test. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Fernandez. An easy two points on the layup. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Good display of physicality by Gasol to set that shot up. to Fernandez. Let's it go with a three. Good on the three-point shot. Fernandez has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Portland. Gasol is screen. Here's Bryant. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Man, 
have they been effective at getting the ball inside? I'll tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Odom comes in for Walton. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Brown. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Marcus Canby. He's checked in for Greg Oak. And it's Fernandez missing. Lakers leading by four. And pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. And slam dunk by Odom. And Odom covers a ton of ground in a hurry, especially when he's on the break. Canby the screen. Shots good by Mills. Mills has got his first bucket of the night. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Trailblazers trail by four. Pass to Fernandez from downtown. Bryant with the rebound. Kobe's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Gasola screen. Kobe, no luck. Portland's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Fernandez. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And you also have to applaud how they've attacked the interior in this game. A lot of points happening for them in the paint tonight. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Matthews, he's checked in for Rudy Fernandez. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. We'll see if they can come back in this one, guys. Okay, David, thanks. We on the clock. Let's it go from the wing. Roy can't hit. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Boy, I could watch Odom attack the rim like that all day long. Trailblazers trail by seven. Miller surveying the floor. On the wing, Brandon Roy. And Matthews kicks to Miller. Aldridge with a screen on Bryant. Miller, no luck. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of eight shooting as they've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering the momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now, here is Miller. Passes to Aldridge. No good. Nice D from Odom. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 11-3 run right now. I hit the pass to Gasol. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Ashley Matthews picks one up. Well, you look at Gasol's stroke now. He's a pretty reliable and respectable free throw shooter. Uh, he doesn't get there quite as much as you think for a big guy, but he does convert when he gets there. Fisher against Miller. The pass to Aldridge. Rebounded by the Lakers. And they just didn't have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Lakers. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. In what's been a good season already, tonight's win will take their record to 50 wins. A big milestone here tonight. And once again, they're going to come out on top in this series. Three straight victories in as many games on the season against this team. They've done a great job of just playing their best when it mattered most against the Trailblazers. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Kobe Bryant. There isn't much else you want from someone. He gave it his all and was rewarded with a triple-double. 20 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. 
Bryant with it. And so the Lakers take the win. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.